This weather is too much. It has been raining and windy for days. But it's good Scottish weather matter. The rain is falling straight down. Or more to the side, like. But this video is not about weather. It is about what I find to be the most fascinating and adaptive eggs that I know of so far. They're the eggs of the Anam walking stick. I mean, these things look like Japanese pottery. They got this little porcelain looking cap that pops off and the baby unspirals and crawls out. The egg is surrounded by capitulum, and what do you find out what that's about? Check this out. Now, on to their incredible eggs. They are really neat looking, really unique. I just love them. Some people say they look a lot like beans, and I can see why, but I personally think they look like pottery complete with covers. They are so cool. See that little plug on the end? That little plug is where the baby emerges. I've seen them just pop open and a little nymph struggles and climbs out. The nymphs look a lot like little ants, which is good because get ready for the best part. They will often hatch within an ant colony. Those eggs have capitula on them, which is a spitting image of an eliosome. That's a nutrient-rich fatty structure found on some seeds to entice ants to take them into their colony to use as food. Of course, the surviving seeds will germinate in a safe environment away from birds. Well, that capitulum protects the eggs in the same way. Ants remove them from the surface above where they are vulnerable to parasitic wasps. And this capitulum even goes so far as to provide a nutrient-rich treat for the ants, just like that eliosome. That's so cool. While some eggs might wind up as food, many still survive. By the time the baby hatches, the nest may even be empty and the ants moved on elsewhere. The nymph just heads on out into the open world unmolested by the ants. Amazing, that is textbook evolutionary convergence among plants and animals. Wow. I have to admit, eggs have fascinated me my whole life. I mean, just their visual presentation is really cool. You've got oval eggs that are usually made for nests or cliff edges so that if they roll, they roll in a circle without falling. You've got round eggs of turtles because they're made to be on the ground. You know, the amazingly modeled oyster catcher eggs found on the Jersey Shore, you know, lying in nests made of seashells are just amazing to look at. The emu eggs have this purplish green hue and texture to them that's just unforgettable. And even insect eggs like the hemeptras. You know, the way they're organized is very geometric in some cases, and they just look really cool. Well, if you don't find these eggs to be as cool as I do, something's gotta be wrong with you. I mean, you know, that little cap that pops off, the capitulum, and just the sheer beauty of these things is really incredible. And the way the, the baby stick insect comes out, it's just purely fascinating. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you wanna learn more about the stick insect in this video, click on the link because I've got a short video all about them. It's an incredible species and they've even got built-in saws on their legs, but check out the video. I'm Chris Ignato. I'll see you in another video. Be sure to check out this video over here that YouTube has selected specifically for you based on your watch time. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button, but you got to click the bell icon. And remember, passion inspires spirit.